Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. This is an introduction to Confluent Platform Security, Part 1. The Confluent Platform is a comprehensive streaming platform, but depending on your industry and use case, it may be no good to you at all if you can't secure it. I want to give you an idea how security works. Now, there's a ton of security features in the platform that you can enable, but I want to focus on three basic things. SSL for encryption, SASL for authentication, and ACLs for authorization. And give me a minute to define those terms, too. Uh, you may already know them, but if you don't, I want to make sure we're on the same page. Encryption is a way of scrambling data to make sure an eavesdropper can't understand it. In the Confluent platform, this is always done on data in flight using SSL. As you probably know, SSL requires a key pair, and we'll make that key pair ourselves. Authentication is a means of determining that you are who you say you are. I suppose that's potentially a very Kafka-esque question in itself. But uh, are you the order status microservice, the Kafka Connect cluster, one of the KSQL clusters? Well, what you do is you submit credentials, you can just think of a username and password, to authenticate yourself as the entity that you think you are, so the cluster knows that you are that entity. To be precise, we usually use the term principal instead of entity. And we're going to be using a system called SASL, that's the simple authentication and security layer for authentication. Now, authorization is the process of figuring out what a particular principle is allowed to do. For example, can I produce to a particular topic? Can I consume from that topic? Can I create new topics? These are all authorization questions. Kafka uses access control lists, or ACLs, or sometimes ACLs, for this purpose. All three of those terms are the same thing. Next, we'll look at how to set up the comprehensive demo project that puts all of this into practice. Check out the next video for more.